Greetings friends and welcome to our very first video. I am Yaya and this is my granddaughter Emmy and together we are Maiden, Maiden and Crone. We are coming to you from our four acre organic homestead that we call Moon Hill. We have a passion for homesteading, gardening, and thrifting and today we're going to share our hauls that we did this past weekend where we went to two churchyard sales and two thrift stores. So please, please enjoy. enjoy. Alright the first yard sale I went to, I got there about 7 a.m. when it started, and of course people were still putting things out. And mostly it was clothes, shoes, and children's toys. But I did find four things at only a dollar each that I want to share with you. And first off, I found this vintage Florida ashtray, souvenir ashtray in the, in the shape of the state of Florida, of course. No cracks, no chips. thought that was really cute. Very nostalgic. Okay, and next I found this, um, I'm always on the lookout for Tupperware. Back in my day, I sold Tupperware, Avon, Pepper Chef, and Mary Kay. So I know a lot about all the four of those companies. So um, this was one of the items I had back in my day, and of course it got lost over the years. So I was very glad to find this for a dollar. Because if you look at any antique stores and other places they they want high prices for tupperware old tupperware so this one is a hostess tray with lid take the lid off put ice in it lay this tray on top put your accoutrements in here of celery carrots broccoli whatever fruit as well separate dip container with the lid believe it or not so of course everything is filthy and i need to clean it up and i will do that before i list it on ebay so that was a wonderful find in the glasses. Um, uh, there was a little old lady selling these glasses, and there's only five of them. She said she broke one, and she only wanted a dollar, so I went ahead and got them, even though I usually don't like to buy breakables like this that are so hard to ship. But there was no chips or cracks on them, and they're frosted with goldish yellow. Vines going around the top, looks like ivy, and then a flower on the bottom. Very cute, very uh, old. And so for a dollar, I went ahead and got them. We'll see how it goes. And then the other thing I found at this first yard sale was definitely something from my childhood. I had to have it, especially for just a dollar. Ye old spice rack. My mother had one exactly like this, and my husband's mother had one exactly like this. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was a thing back then, but to find them with all of the jars with the lids on them I thought that was a great buy especially for a dollar and then back in when you bought these new back then They came with stick-on labels. I remember they were gold with black print on them uh, So I'm gonna have to make my own, la own labels if I decide to keep this I haven't made up my mind whether to keep this or um, Sell it and of course it, you are able to hang this on the wall very convenient who doesn't need more containers for spices and herbs you know that's awesome okay so we moved on to another churchyard sale that was indoors thankfully and air-conditioned so that was a blessing and first thing I found as soon as I walked in was this little hand crocheted I have no idea what you use it for it looks like something grandma laid on her bed uh, back in the day the face was very old and retro looking and it was hand crocheted and I just thought it was really cute and only for a dollar I just grabbed it up okay now I found um, a stack of books of course they had lots of books most of them were Christian slash religious books and the first one I found was uh, this will definitely show the age of people who remember this lady Dale Evans Del Evans Rogers, her and her husband Roy Rogers were very famous way back when, even before I, way before I was born. Um, but she and her husband were pretty much the epitome of the American couple, the perfect marriage, um, you know, just sweet and honest and that type of thing. So I thought this was a really cute book that she wrote and it reads, Time Out Ladies. A dynamic recipe for good living by one of America's most beloved women so that I think it will be an interesting read and then I also found this Cutco cookbook world's finest cutlery 
and this was published in like 1966 and um, I love the graphics on the front and the graphics inside I may do a flip through video because the graphics inside are so cute all right and then um, I found this one is a diary of signs and wonders and I got this because I wanted to read about a woman who was a leader uh, a religious leader back in her day that's so rare back then and it even is now so I thought it might be an interesting story to read and then I love it that I found a stack of 20 of the good old show it Berenstain Bears yes my children grew up on these books my grandchildren are going to grow up on these books and I will not show all 20 of them but they are in excellent condition there are no tears and no coloring or drawing inside uh, it was a great find I thought and who doesn't love the Berenstain Bears they're they're just beautiful precious characters with lessons to be learned for children of all ages and I always love to read to my children when when it was bedtime we read a book every night before bedtime and sang songs so that we got a little bedtime routine established okay what's next Amy the uh, planter okay I found a baby booty planter for one dollar no chips or cracks made in Japan is that what it reads on the bottom yes I'm not sure if things are focusing it says, <laughs> it says like Rubens Japan mm, okay all right so that was a good find those are so cute and okay somebody had a collection that they were selling of miniature shoes okay um, so I picked what I thought were the cutest ones these two hold them up of course I found a mother and a baby of these little wooden carved shoes and I believe this on each one of them have a little pin cushion because it's soft so I'm assuming that that's a pin cushion and I love the designs on it I love that they were made from wood this has a word on it that I'm not sure it might be German or Danish or uh, I'm really not sure but I thought they were just adorable that they go together like that okay the next one I found this was made in Italy tiny tiny little shoe in perfect condition <laughs> so cute for a dollar uh, hand me the smaller one too these don't, aren't, aren't exactly matchy matchy but they were both white and they were both made in Japan yes both have Japan on the bottom white porcelain um, cute designs no chips or cracks just adorable and then I found these and I was just like oh my gosh I have to add these to I have um, some handmade dolls that were made by Native Americans and so I found these little moccasins tiny tiny little moccasins of course they're souvenirs but I, I really don't know how old they are they are just very very old and very delicate this is coming up a little bit right here and this tag on it has <laughs> a very interesting yet somewhat um, uh, not politically correct wording on here uh, do you mind reading that um, moccasins for little feet made by dollies ain't they neat engines made them far away um and then we can't read like, the last line but it says it like, says something like come and get yours today but the fact that they use the word instead of using the word indian they used the word that they said back then engines. it was uh i got it anyway because um it, it's just it says like come and get your pair today yeah yeah and then there's uh on the other side it reads greetings from Lookout Mountain, Tennessee, and there's a one and a half cent stamp on it. So I don't know if you could mail these or what the deal was back then. So 
So um, I'm going to keep these for my collection because I think they're just they're just precious and unusual and very rare. So that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found this sterling silver pen. Um, and it's uh, got like a mother of pearl and turquoise inlay for two dollars for that one. Very beautiful. All right, what else did we get at that one? Oh, these. Um, we found these melamine cups, two coffee cups, a creamer, and a sugar bowl. Mm hmm. So that. Um, two dollars for this set four piece set so i thought that was and it's, it's in perfect condition so i thought that was a good buy on those especially in the pink everybody loves the pink <laughs> okay yeah the owl basket just a dollar so cute because everybody loves owls at least we do so i had to grab that up and was that all from the second um, church yard sale? I believe yes. so. Okay, so we're going to move on to Goodwill, one of our local Goodwills. We'll do that one last. Okay. Um, let's um, start with those. Yes. Okay, this I have to, I'm going to have to research this. It is a bear inside of a teacup, it is ceramic. I don't know how old it is or the purpose of it because on the bottom first off it reads Winnie the Pooh right here and then there's does that say anything or is it just a symbol it says Japan oh, it says Japan okay but sense. this turns and I don't know why I don't know if this was supposed to turn like spinning teacup right I'm not sure and then there's a little rattle of something inside, so I'm not sure what that has happened. Something might have broke off inside that makes this turn. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll look that up before I list it and give more detail on it. But it was just so precious, and for 99 cents at Goodwill, I had to grab it up. Old Winnie the Pooh stuff. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? All right, next I have the uh, Gold Butterfly Corel Saucers. There's a pack of eight of them together for 99 cents and I know there's some people who collect the gold butterfly out there and they would probably love these I didn't even though they're taped together I didn't find any any imperfections on these and of course I will clean them up first but um, that's for anybody who loves the gold butterfly collecting and show that one honey that is um, reticulated uh, plate with the Lord's Prayer on it. What does that on the back read? Um, a it was $1.99. Quality product made in Japan. Okay, I thought it was Japanese. Okay. And uh, I love the blue and the gold. I can't tell the age of it, but it does look pretty worn on this part, like it was hanging on someone's wall. So, and the printing on the front looks old. Um, they took very good care of it though so I thought that was very precious as well alright what have we got next the Kleenex boxes Yes. okay these I was so glad to find these at the Goodwill I love things that are unusual and sort of like oddities like and uh, somebody obviously had a collection of tissue box holders and I found five of them there and they come, somebody had them at one time in an antique booth, I do believe, because they come with tags on them. So we're going to show you these one at a time. Emmy, if you could read what that says on that tag there. Um, $10 of Ron Ramsburg. Ramsburg or Ronsburg. Uh -huh. Vintage um, metal tissue box. Yeah. Tissue. Okay, so this one is white metal. And it has a rose on the front with gold leafing um, painted. And this is one of the ones that you hung on the wall back in the day. 
and the top does come off and you just slip your little small sized uh, Tissue. tissues in there. What uh, what brand, what does that read on there? Um, Pansburg. Ramsburg? Yeah, yeah Ramsburg. Okay. Ramsburg. That's it. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what I got that. Okay. And then there's another metal one, which when I first glanced at this, I thought it was a mailbox. But this one is also on the wall, and you can tell um, lots of wear on that. Kind of hung on the wall. Metal with this detail around there. Um, Hand-painted flowers, sort of a maroon color. Uh, this one was $3.99, actually. How much was that first one? Uh, $2.99. Okay. This one set on the tag, it says $12 uh, wall... Tollware. Tollware. Uh -huh. Tollware, Kleenex. Um, holder. Holder, yeah. Okay. All right. This one was $2.99. It is hung on the wall as well, and it is metal and white with gold uh, tree branches and flower petals on there. This one, Says, read that. Um, $10 mid-century vintage metal tissue holder. Okay. They wanted ten dollars for that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is plastic. Read this one. Um map or like oh. MAP six ninety nine green plastic tissue holder vintage. Okay. Then this one was only a dollar ninety nine at Goodwill. This one, uh, I mean, but it's in uh, really good condition. Um what does that read on the back there? It says um, I don't know how, how to pronounce that word, but it's Schwartz, like, Schwartz, it Bros, Schwartz Brothers Plastic, okay, and Greendale and California. Okay, all right, let me open it up. Um, this one just has a hinge, a couple of hinges on it, so you could just open it up and slip your little tissue box inside. I think I did find a little slight defect on this one, I'm not, I don't remember. But of course, I am going to be perfectly honest about things like that in my listings. But there's no cracks. And this is a uh, raised right here, uh, a beautiful little flower there. That was pretty. And the last tissue box holder is all metal with roses. On Leaf on one side, rose on the other side, rose on top, rose on front. It is slightly bent out of shape, a, um, a little dent right here, and a little bit of a, a slight right here, like it like got, was dropped or something. But um, all you have to do is unhook this, and you slip your box in, and then hook it back. So I remember these very well. Everybody had one of these on the back of their toilets. When you mm -hmm. go to somebody's house, everybody had one like this, like one of these. It was just a thing for back then. then okay. Um, the, the, the tens. The tens were only, believe it or not, 49 cents a piece. I don't think they realized how old these were. This one is very beautiful. This is raised. Here, uh, it's a, a beautiful cornflower blue, I would say, and it is a carriage with horses and people riding in the carriage. Um, there's artwork going all the way around. I liked it that it had this lip on here. This one, oh yes, 49 cents. Uh, there was nothing inside that could give you a clue as to what was in it. It was definitely old and used. It smells a little bit like candy. Mm -hmm. like, that's probably what Grandma had in there was her hard candy. <laughs> and this one, a garden assortment. I'm sure this was probably candy or cookies in here. Mm -hmm. uh, it even has an ingredients list on there. What is that? A Valley Brook Farms. Okay. Um, department, Deer Park Baking Company. Uh-huh. Hampton, NJ. New Jersey. Okay. Um, 49 cents, but I love the um, the retro, very 60s, 70s flowers on the top, as well going all the way around the tin. 
And let's open it up and no rust on the inside. Um, however, there is a slight dent right here that you can see on the inside as well. But, you know, you turn that to the back, it's you no know, problem. I think it was beautiful. The very okay. last thing. For, yeah, the last Goodwill thing. And I love this. I absolutely love it. I have no information on what it is or who did it, where it came from, how old it is. I will do my research before I list it and clean it up as well. This one. Sorry about that glitch. We had a technical difficulty. It is our first video. So we shall continue on. Now, our last item from the Goodwill was this beautiful, beautiful um, picture of ballerinas. Uh, this absolutely gorgeous female here, other dancers on the other side. I have no information yet on it as to the artist or how old it is, but there are some numbers on the back, and I will look those up and definitely do my research on it and post that when, when I post it on eBay. Uh, that was $5.99. And I don't usually buy pictures like that, but I just couldn't resist. Uh, it was just so absolutely beautiful and very mid-century, very vintage. All right, we'll move on to our last thrift store. And first off, we have a handmade pottery piece, terracotta. This was $1.99. It's got flowers on it with their stems and leaves. Show the bottom. Bottom still actually has a handwritten price on it. Uh, there is glazing on the inside, but um, it's, it's very nicely made. Okay. No cracks or chips. All right. And next, uh, I know um, strawberries are very big in kitchen decor, so uh, I picked that up for 79 cents, I believe it's on the back. Yes. It's a wooden piece, a little metal hanger, a uh, red and white gingham bow on the front with some strawberries. And what else is on the front there? Um, some leaves flowers. and flowers. It's very cute. Very retro. I like that. Okay, another little baby planter. However, which, what, is this the one from Japan? Yes. What's it read um, on the bottom? It says, made in Occupied Japan. Occupied Japan, okay, yes. Uh, it's very well done. I really like the colors. They're different. Instead of always being the very light pastels, this one is uh, has very bright blues. And the little baby's head, uh, I thought it was a clown at first. <laughs> But then I picked it up and looked at it. I was like, oh, that's a little baby in a carriage, okay? Um, and it's uh, it's just very beautiful. I will say, though, I didn't notice it when I bought it. However, the handle has been broken off and re-glued on there. And I wish I had seen that before I bought it. But it's still a very nice piece. Mm -hmm. And, of course... Um, what did we pay? 99 cents for it. So I will start this at 99 cents, obviously, on eBay because of the imperfection of it. Okay. We have here, just open it up, uh, a little doily, I guess you would say, but it's been hand embroidered, hand stitched. I love it when people, when I find old things that people have made like that. It looks so cute on an end table or coffee table or even a nightstand. That was 99 cents. And I found these little trinket dishes. I believe these are both from Japan. Yep. Is that right? Japan. Okay. Uh, they were taped together, so both of them together were 99 cents. Uh, no chips or cracks. Uh, they both have a little rose and leaf on it in the corner. So they're very, very cute. I will probably list these separately, though. All right. And our lovely, good old chalkware. Who doesn't love chalkware? Seahorses. They have the rhinestones in their eyes. 
<laughs> Black with some gold finishing touches on there. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell these or not. These are in excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks. But I decorate my guest bathroom in chalkware from the the old vintage ones from my childhood, which includes seahorses, mermaids, fish, that sort of thing, ocean themes. It was so popular when I was a child, and I love seeing that again, and that's how I want to decorate my guest bathroom. So I will probably end up keeping these um, and using them in my bathroom. I'm not sure. If people show an interest, I will list them. Okay, our very last item for today is, well, we had to tell a little story behind this. It's a handmade little vase from Hawaii. It even reads handmade in Hawaii, right? Mm-hmm. And what was the cost on that? Um, it's a tag on there. I think it was a dollar. Yeah. Like 99 cents. Uh, we have, everywhere we go, it seems like we find something from Hawaii because we are manifesting a trip to Hawaii. So everywhere we go, we find either um, it's like a little vase, a bell, salt and pepper shakers, magnets, magnets record albums, uh, posters, all kinds of anything. Every single trip we go on thrifting, we find something that has Hawaii on it. So that was that was it for this. The universe manifested that for us or uh, for this trip. All right, friends. Well, that's it for this haul. Thank you so much for joining us. Please tune in again. We'll have more videos for you, take you on shopping trips with us and gardening and homesteading. And we hope to see you soon. And we want to wish you good health, well-being, and financial freedom from Maiden, Maiden and Crone. Crone.